It's an important win on a number of levels. Nets needed a confidence builder. They had been playing good basketball, but they didn't really have the quality wins to yeah. show for it on the road. This is the first time they've beaten a team over 500 away from Brooklyn. And the way they did it, Indiana had a couple of chances down the stretch to stop the Nets and maybe take control of the game. The Nets had answers. Joe Harris, the big three to put the Nets in front, then down by one, Spencer Dinwiddie makes the shot of the night. It, it, it was it was clutch plays, and I think for the Nets to do so on the offensive end, you mentioned the two big baskets by Joe Harris, the, of course, game winner uh, by Spencer Dinwiddie. But throughout the course of that fourth quarter, there was a lot of other big baskets. DeAndre Jordan, once again, a strong job in the post, what he was able to do defensively. Torian Prince coming up with some big baskets. The thing about the fact that there was eight Nets in double figures yeah. in this game, everyone could contributed in some way but to your point it, on a lot of levels an important win given the way things ended in Toronto a one point loss there so you're looking at the same situation against Indiana to be able to turn around get yep. that stop walk away with a win just it, really important for this Nets team as they continue to try and head into the break with some positive momentum 48 hours after Karis Levert said there are no moral victories at this stage when he did not make a shot down the stretch mm -hmm. Harris had a chance to get a follow that didn't go against Toronto but it's the Nets making the plays against an Indiana team that's now searching themselves at six consecutive losses for the Pacers first time that's happened to them in three years you mentioned the balance scoring for Brooklyn also Kenny Atkinson going with the players that got him there DeAndre Jordan extended time for Jordan Jared Allen played well and certainly had a presence when he was in there but Jordan changed the game a bit with his physical play and the fact that he gave Sabonis something to think about when he went inside and I think that's what's the beauty of this lineup and as you look at it and we've seen this throughout the course of the year the opportunity for Kenny Atkinson yep. to mix and match who he's going with down the stretch but I think it just shows that he trusts multiple players it's all about feel and for DeAndre Jordan it, some big baskets and especially some of that connection between Dinwiddie and he on the offensive end but more than than anything Damana Sabonis he, he's an Eastern Conference all-star he's a load he's someone who was really doing good work against this Nets team and of course he walks away with the triple double still really solid numbers but there was a lot of timely stops in points where DeAndre Jordan even on that last Malcolm Brogdon miss for him to come over and contest along with Spencer Dinwiddie um, really impressive showing by him on the defensive end and again as a whole the entire team should feel good about everyone playing a part at different points of the game and the Nets will get another crack at the Toronto Raptors Wednesday night from Barclays Center. Back to you. I and Sarah, thank you. Tonight's leading score.